When most people look at the streets of the Tenderloin District in downtown San Francisco, they see drugs, crime, and homelessness. I find the Tenderloin the most beautiful, magical place. Are we looking at the same place? <laughs> this is Michael Swain. <laughs> I think we are. His unique perspective comes from a 15-year mission to mend this neighborhood. Literally, mend this neighborhood. Once a month, this college art teacher sets up a sewing machine on the sidewalk and stitch by stitch repairs the fabric of his community, all for free. I don't need any money. You know someone else who needs the money. It's such a simple gesture, but it means so much to the residents here. It's like, ah, I got that back. Something I thought that I lost, I, I got it back. He's fixing them, he's making them better, and I don't have the money to go and just waste. Who would want to come and sit and fix people's nasty, grimy clothes? It's a good point, and the answer has nothing to do with sewing. The sewing machine has become more than just the tool for mending, it's also the tool for making people stop. And what stories do you have for us today, Veronica? The tool that people feel really comfortable around. And what a beautiful sewing machine. My God, where'd you pick this up? Michael started sewing for strangers after he found this antique tossed to the curb. It was his way of paying it forward. But in the years since, it has become less about letting out pants and more about taking in stories about building community. It's teamwork. It's, you, have to, you work together, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate from the bottom of my heart what he does for the neighborhood. He's a good man and he's touching the world and healing people with his gift. And I, I honor him and I thank him. Like an old pair of jeans, the tenderloin will probably never be good as new. But thanks to people like Michael. This material has a little stretch. Still got a lot of life left in it. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. You're welcome.